on Into Tomorrow over our 29 years about smart living, smart kitchen, smart everything. Well, our next guest is doing just that and, of course, helping all of us as consumers with some very cool, innovative new products. So we're delighted to have joining us on the program the president of Sharp. Home Electronics, Jim Sandusky. Jim, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? I'm doing very good, thank you. Good. It's a pleasure to have you with us as we kick off 29 years and have seen a lot of, of different products and the evolution of different products, as you have, and certainly Sharp, uh, always at the forefront of, I like your lapel pin, Sharp, oh, be you. original, and, and they are. Uh, tell me a little bit about your end of the company uh, and you know a little bit about the Sharp Home Electronics Group. Yes, so you know we are here today at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in January of 2024, and uh, we're here in our booth. We're on the show floor, and we're just excited to show a breadth of new technologies that Sharp is working on, and how we're bringing technology into new products for the home, but make but making consumers' life simpler and more enjoyable. And they are a great example of how very cool new products available today and into tomorrow with some innovative things that you guys are showcasing here. Yeah, so I'd, I'd love to show you some new products that we're working on. These aren't on the market yet, okay. but but we're looking to bring them to market later this year and consumers can look forward to seeing them at retail. Excellent. Well, tease us, first of all, low noise and powerful stick cleaners. I think we all have experience at various homes and our homes about, yeah, we everybody loves a stick cleaner. Just a little spill, a little bit of crumbs, clean it up. But yeah, they get noisy. Uh, they're not necessarily as powerful as we'd like, you solve that problem. Yeah, I mean, lately, as you know, we've kind of moved to battery-operated uh, vacuum cleaners, which is really convenient for the consumer, but they can be really quite noisy. But what we're doing is we have some unique technology with sound dampening in which we can have the same, if not better, performance than a typical battery-operated stick vacuum and have it be super quiet, and I'd love to demo it for oh, you. That'd be awesome, and we talk about, of course, if you're listening on the radio or podcast or any one of our many streams and that sort of thing, you've got to see the video, especially of this interview. All of our uh, interviews here at CES are also on video, but hit us up at intotomorrow.com and check out these cool things that Jim is showing us. Like, your va can your vacuum lift a bowling ball? Yeah, so, so let's, <laughs> let's uh, take a, a demo right now. So we're gonna look at a typical uh, stick vacuum cleaner, and we're going to hear the noise. You might want to put the microphone right to it, and you'll interrupt hear it. you yet. Yes. But there we go. Yeah. Very typical noise. Oh, I, I, this one's got to get turned on yet. Oh no, it is on. It's Wait a minute. Can you hear that, Chris? Even in your headphones. <laughs> Well, that's it's cool. Quiet, but yet the proof is how well does it vacuum? So right. now we're gonna we're gonna do a bowling ball demonstration for you, in which we're gonna start first with the noisy vacuum stick to show that yes, it's pretty powerful. Uh, it's actually going to lift a uh, a bowling ball to the very top, showing the suction power. But again, you can hear the noise yeah. of this. But it but it's working. It's working. It's lifting the bowling ball as it's supposed to. So you're thinking, okay, it's, it's, powerful, it's powerful, but now it's if powerful. it's so much less noisy, it, uh, will it give us the same power or not? <laughs> that that's The proof is in the pudding, and I think you'll be quite pleased with what you see here. So, really. Can't hear anything. But I yeah, mean. The, the bowling ball was yeah. sucked up to the top there. Even faster, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this is a great example of how your sharp technology is making life better for the home. Yes, that's right. I mean, go go figure. Yeah. We've got so many other cool things to show you. So as if by magic, we're now going to show up elsewhere. Stay tuned. We go from vacuum cleaners, low noise and, and great suction, to low noise and high power hair dryers. Another issue, I didn't know that a lot of people complained about their hair dryer being so loud, but yeah, you might wake up the family. That's right. And so now we are introducing a hair dryer that is ultra quiet for the amount of vo volume that you get to be able to dry your hair. And it's also in a configuration to where you can set it on a tabletop so both of your hands can be free for you to, to style your hair. I don't know of anybody else that has doing that kind of a thing too. No, can you, you yeah, can yeah. you imagine you just want to sit maybe in front of your mirror and your bathroom counter or something and do your job, do your hair, but you have to typically keep one hand on a hair dryer. That's right. <laughs> you thought so, of that. 
We, what we've done is I want to show you here uh, a cutout of what the inside of this hair dryer looks like and we're using sound dampening uh, material inside so that the air comes out but the sound stays deadened inside the unit. That's very interesting because as Chris is now showing you on camera, um, there's several different, I guess, layers of sound dampening that are happening and yet you're not, we're not losing the power of the wind that we need. That's right, absolutely. Now suddenly in the Sharp exhibit with so many cool things, we've got time to show you a couple of more really neat stuff. Really neat stuff, yeah, I've been in the desert way too long this week. How about a high-speed oven? And I know what you're thinking, same thing I thought at first. Oh, so, you know, like the airflow sort of thing, you know, the air fryers and stuff, ah, but wait, there's more. Tell us about the new Sharp high-speed oven. Yes, so we know that consumers' time is at a premium. Lifestyles are busier than ever before. So if we can take the process of cooking and reduce the time significantly, we think that that's something that consumers will be really excited about. And so we are showcasing here a product that's still maybe another year or so from commercialization, but it is a high speed oven. And what it will do is you're able to cook food three times as fast as a normal food. So for example, if you take a, a full roasted chicken, normally it takes about 90 minutes in a traditional bake oven. But through three different type of technologies that I'll talk about in a second, we're able to take that 90 minute cook time down to just 30 minutes. So and three, we're, not, speed. we're not losing any quality or not, taste not, of not, food. Not, or, we're yeah. still getting the crispiness of the exterior of the chicken with the tenderness, the juiciness uh, inside the chicken. So no compromise at all on, on the cooking performance. It's every bit as good. And so this particular oven, I talked about three different technologies. So first is instead of using traditional coil heaters that can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to heat up the inside of the oven, we're using what we call golden rod heaters that literally instantly flash to high temperatures. So really no preheating required. So you get you get the, the high temperature immediately without preheating. The second is that we're using airflow. So it, it's like an air fryer turbocharged. So high velocity airflow inside the oven is also speeding up the cooking. And then we're throwing microwave energy on top. So we're using three these three technologies to speed up the food cooking by three times. And we love it when anybody uses, of course, technology as Sharp does and as we cover for all these 29 years, but when you use it to make our lives better in any capacity, it's technology that's appropriately getting attention. It is, and we're also kind of taking it to the next level if you look at the interface as well. So rather than just have some buttons that you press, we're actually building intelligence into this. So we have an LCD screen here and we have both the cooking modes that, that you can operate like if I go to manual cook you can press any of these modes and also with some of the recipes that we are building into like for example this is smart cooking I can go in and I can go to well, let's say potatoes and I can try these potatoes? I think the grocery store was out of potatoes uh, oh, we, maybe we can try poultry poultry oh. grilled chicken thighs and there is the recipe there and all you do is from here you read the, you read the instructions there and it has the cooking algorithm built into it and you just press the start button and there you go well, you gotta love any device that gives you the easy instructions and it's like oh I can follow that you yes. know and all of a sudden now the family is going to be fed uh, you know uh, at least an hour earlier than they would have been that's right that's right now Jim joins us in an area of the exhibit that of course is also getting a lot of attention sharp as you may know we've talked about it for years pioneered a lot of cool TVs and not to be outdone even by themselves you got some more new things to show here we do you know we're really pleased to have really pioneered the launch of LCD, LCD televisions back in the early 2000s and then as we got towards the end of the first decade we launched the industry's first 60 inch then 70 inch then 80 inch and ultimately 90 inch LCD televisions and uh, this year at the Consumer Electronics Show, we're back showing a beautiful uh, 4K XLED television. So this is uh, the television you see right here. This is a 75 inch XLED mini LED television. And it's just gorgeous. I mean, look how black, inky blacks the, the blacks are and how vibrant 
the colors are that you see here on this screen. It's a very- Wow, of course, if you're not watching it on this screen, it's not as, as nice because it's like, trust us here in person, this is a gorgeous, vivid television. Yes, it is indeed. So it's very bright, very vibrant. And of course, being a 4K resolution set, it has great resolution. It has all of the, the HDR technologies that you would expect in a, uh, a television in 2024. And a 75 inch seems to be uh, a very different size, right? You typically hear, you know, 65 and then maybe you jump to 85 or something like that. 55s, of course. Oh my God, 55, way too small, you know. But 75, what a perfect size for any living room. It is. Over the years, you've seen the screen size increase uh, in consumer homes. It's gone from 50 to 55 to 65. And now 75 is a very popular screen size in the industry. Is this available yet? This is available today, yes. Uh, we actually launched it just about two months ago. And is there a price uh, that you can share with us so folks yeah. get an idea? So this 75-inch TV is typically in, in the ballpark of around $3,000. Okay. And it's gorgeous. I mean, yes. I can tell folks that just by the stuff that you've seen with Chris shooting the screen even. Uh, and of course, you know, we're all high def, but it just doesn't do it justice until you see it. So yeah. go by any sharp dealer and say, I want to check out that new Aquas XLED 75 inch. Yeah. And what I would say is, you know, for a $3,000 price point, if you think about the economics of it, using it for, say, 10 years, that works out to be about a dollar a day, $300 a year or less than a dollar a day for enjoyment on a 75 inch 4K television that's one of the best picture qualities in the entire industry. I like the exact dollar a day. A dollar that's, a day. A, that's a bargain. Uh, it is. Less I than a cup of coffee. Right. Oh, I love it, especially uh, having to spend eight bucks for a cup of coffee. My that's God, right. that's a good, that's a great analogy. And of course, it makes perfect sense. Take care of the family. Get that new TV that you've been talking about anyway. What are you going to wait till next Christmas? No, get it now. Check it out. Jim, you're a delight to chat with. And we thank you for putting up with my crew and I in your exhibit. And we want folks to be able to visit Sharp USA. Com. And you'll see not only the products that Jim and I spoke about, but all the other cool stuff that they do have available and coming into tomorrow. So we'll stay in touch with Jim, and as these other products we talked about are available, we'll certainly let you know. Jim Sandusky is the president of Sharp Home Electronics. Keep bringing out new stuff, and darn it, we have to keep talking about it. I promise you I will. Dave, my pleasure. Oh, thank you, sir. Very cool and lots of neat stuff. More so even coming, so stay tuned. Speaking of stay tuned, I'm Dave Graveline. Much more from the various show floors here in Las Vegas and CES as we continue several weeks worth of coverage of CES 2024. And of course, intotomorrow.com is where you're going to see all of our guest interviews and all the links to their products as well right here on the Advanced media network.